I'm going to show you a new feature of our DataPoint plugin. DataPoint is a add-on for PowerPoint that allows you to connect your slides and shapes to data so that you can have up-to-date presentations or it can be used to generate new presentations and documents on the fly by just using the great user interface of PowerPoint. So I have DataPoint Enterprise Edition installed on my machine and you see it here in the ribbon. The new feature that we have in here is that we can generate multiple documents based on your PowerPoint design. So we generate the documents and the new feature or the new edition is that we can send out the individual presentations to email addresses. So you have the generation that you can do in PowerPoint as well as sending out all the information. So imagine that you have a large company, you are doing the yearly evaluation of, of your personnel, you're generating the evaluation sheets uh, for everyone, and it's also sent out to that person's uh, email uh, or mailbox. So that's what we are going to do. So let me first of all make it this slide or this presentation a little bit more fancier. Let me just use something like this. That's better than white, isn't it? So then we go to data point, list connections. Um, it's an Excel file that we are going to use. So I select the Microsoft Excel data provider here in the list. I click add connection. I browse to the file. This is the file that I'm going to use and I click open. So that's one. I rename and I say my data, something like this. I click add query and I get to see a list of all the data sheets that you have in there. So I'm picking up, picking up the information from this data sheet. This default range is fine. The first row contains the field names. The refresh rate is not relevant since I'm going to generate uh, the documents. So we leave it like this and then you get this information. So you see a preview of all the data in there. So you have a column, first name, last name, score, a number, whatever, and an email address. That's important for the new feature. So we need to have an email address included in the data. So I'm renaming this as well. Um, let's call this evaluations and we click OK. So now we have established a link to the data source. So I can now use any shape in PowerPoint like this text box. So I've selected this text box. I click data point and text box. From here, I see a list of all the data connections that we have, only one at this time. I want to display the first name. So here you see the, the again, the column names that you have in the data source. So I'm choosing to display the first name in this text box and here is a preview of the first row, so Davis. I click OK, and I use another text box. Or maybe let's duplicate this one. Uh, first of all, make it like this. A line in the middle, and we duplicate this text box. So now I have a duplicate, and I'm going into data point again, text box options, and I'm switching from first name to last name. There it is. So that's one. We are displaying the name, right, the first name and the last name of a person. So this is just some cosmetic work. Let's place it here. And then we can duplicate this text box again. And I put it somewhere here. And now we are switching this source and we're linking to score. And score is a percentage. So I can format this as a percentage here and I click OK. There is the percentage. So let me do some cosmetics changes. Something like this. So now I'm going to insert an image. So I'm going to my pictures. I insert any picture from my hard drive as a placeholder. 
So here it is. And I'm going now to data point, click picture. Yes, I want to convert this into a data point picture. So we have the data connection again, only one. And we have, let me show you, we have a folder like this here, where we have all the persons that we have in the Excel file. And, and of those, we have a picture, just a dummy picture, uh, because we are not showing real faces. Uh, but it's a PNG file and we have it in this folder. So perfect. So we saw that the file name was based on the first name. So the column that we are going to use is first name. That's one. First row, what is inside the first name uh, column? So it's only the file name like this. So when I choose file name only, so it's Davis for the first name, the same as here. I can specify the folder. So now I go to my desktop. Uh, I know it's this folder there and the extension was PNG. So as soon as I type in PNG, then, and the name is correct, and, and the file name and the path is completely correct, then we get to see this image. So I click, okay, and now we have Davis showing up here. So let me just format this so that the aspect ratio is fine. Um, and then, yeah, why not make this wide as well? Uh, something like this. Um, and, and bold and shadow. So this is looking nice. So we have set up uh, a first slide connected to our data. So when we run the slideshow or when we open this presentation, that 17 value could be changed automatically if the source file data has changed. So if this became 25, for instance, in the Excel file, next time that we open this presentation, 25 will be displayed in here. That's done by data point. Data point can do more um, and we are going to make use of the scrolling feature. So when I click scrolling, I get this option. I enable scrolling. I say the step size is one row. The step time is five seconds, maybe make it three. When I run the slideshow now, I will see every row of my Excel file for three seconds just by using one slide. Yeah. So that's a very important feature that I have enabled on this slide. So I'm going back. So now I'm going to generate or I, I'm going to generate individual documents. So I want to have a presentation for Davis. I want to have a presentation for what is it? Betty and, and so on. So the snapshot save as button here is providing that functionality. So I click here and you see that the master connection is the connection that I'm using on this slide. That's correct, that's just some information. I can choose the column for the file name. So the file name, so we are going to generate multiple documents. So we have to give it a name. So I can say for, us, for instance, that I am going to save this as davis.pptx. So that's why I choose first name here. I have to specify a folder where I'm going to save this information. So I have a C and then a temp drive is always helpful. New folder, let's call this uh, generation. There it is. So now, because I have set first name for the file name, I have set the folder and I'm going to generate um, PowerPoint presentations, then we will have a first file called like this. So C temp generation, that's the name that I gave the uh, folder. And David is coming from the first name column uh, with the extension PPTX. So I can customize this further and I can say, this is the evaluation, evaluation of Davis. Uh, we can put a year next to that. So let me add blank. So that's the file name that we'll get out of this. So this feature was existing already in data point. So when I click OK, it's generating, I don't know, six, seven files that I have in my Excel file for all my employees in the company. But now this option is new, the mail 
2. And you can see that the mail 2 is not active. It's disabled here. Uh, it's not checked. So when I click mail 2, I can send out the generated documents per email. So I check this option and now I can say the column for the email address. That's obvious. That's the email column. So I can say now, hi there. That's the subject. But I can customize this. I can say, hi, replace. That's a special notation that I have to use. And I can use the names uh, of the columns that I want to use in here. So with this notation, we are going to replace the first names text here by using the value from the first name column of the data sheet. So I can say here again, so let me just copy this. Hi, and a comma, here is your yearly certificate, evaluation, uh, whatever we are generating here. Please let me know if you have comments. Something like this. So we are going to send out this by using an SMTP server. An SMTP server is basically um, something that some information that you get from your admin in the company or maybe from your internet provider. So for me, it's obvious we are using the uh, Microsoft uh, Exchange. So this is SMTP Office 365.com, the port that Microsoft is using for this. And that's just some information that you have to receive from your admin or the provider. I have to check this option, enable um, SSL. And then I can say uh, messages, that's the username that we have on the system on the internet provider and a password. So that's it. So I have entered the information and I can click OK. So now we see that the mail tool is active. So when I click OK now, it will generate documents for me, individual documents, one for Davis, one for, I don't know the names and so on. So this is generated at the moment as well as being sent out to that email address. So I can now check. So let me go. Here is, here are the files that we have generated. So I can open Cherry's presentation. I have to close my dialog box. So this is the information of Cherry. So you have 74, that's a percentage. Here is our image and it was sent out to Sherry at presentationpoint.com. That's it. That's what I wanted to show you. The new feature, the new addition to data points generation, snapshot generation, where you can email presentations automatically in bulk. Find out more at presentationpoint.com.